Most off-road SUVs on the current market are a scam. Manufacturers trick buyers into thinking their brand new vehicle can tackle any terrain when in reality it will have difficulty driving over a badly maintained B-road. To avoid falling in this trap, this video will go over the 5 most capable off-roaders on the current market. The first and most capable SUV is the Jeep Wrangler. This is because it features two solid axles, sway bar disconnects, two differential lockers, good ground clearance, good approach and departure angles, and tall mud terrain tires. The above attributes give the Wrangler a combination of great wheel travel, grip, and component strength. The Ford Bronco comes in second place even though it offers two lockers, big tires, and sway bar disconnects. What makes it slightly less capable than the Wrangler is the independent front suspension. Independent front ends are weaker and provide less wheel travel which leads to a car that lifts wheels more easily. A wheel off the ground provides zero grip and stability which decreases capabilities. The best way to picture the difference between a solid axle and independent suspension is to think of independent suspension on 4x4s as beefed up versions of normal road going vehicles whereas a solid axle is a scaled down version of a heavy duty truck. One performs better on road but is weaker and the other is better off road but is stronger. Up until the previous generation the G-Wagon still offered two solid axles. However, the newest iteration has got rid of the front one which has now been replaced with independent suspension. Still, the G-Wagon offers a solid rear axle, lockers on both the front and rear axles, good ground clearance and very strong components. It does not have the wheel travel of the Bronco and Wrangler as the newer models are more focused on road driving, but it is still a very capable machine. The fifth generation 4Runner is now over a decade old and even though its engine and transmission are insanely old, it is still selling like crazy. A proof that reliability and dependability are still highly valued by the buyer. Under the skin, we get great off-road protection, a rear diff locker and Toyota's great crawl control system. The 4Runner won't be as capable as the above vehicles because it lacks a front locker and comes with smaller tires. However, it will still be able to take you pretty far off-road. The new Defender is a controversial one. Out of the box, the exceptional Land Rover terrain response system paired with air suspension makes the Defender a very capable off-roader. This is because it has good clearance and it can find grip in most off-road situations. However, there are a few problems. First and foremost, it is a complicated vehicle that is built by Land Rover. Therefore, this isn't a long-term off-roader. It will be great while new, but once it starts to age, problems will arise. Then we have the issue of modifications and the fact that there aren't many options out there. Suspension lifts come in the form of subframe spacers and even steel bumpers and winches are tough to get. Simply put, the Defender is only as capable as you receive it from the factory. The only real upgrade you can do is put some more aggressive and slightly larger tires. If you want the comfort and technology the Defender has to offer, you will need to keep it mostly stock and sell it after a few years. This will help you avoid the headache of running an old and complicated Land Rover. So the above are my top 5 most capable off-road SUVs on the current market. If you have any further suggestions, please leave them in the comments down below. And if you have enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. I will see you on the next one.